What is the best option for my heavy upper eyelids? Hi, I'm a 26-year-old female who has always had a heavy upper eyelid, as do most of the women in my family, and was wondering what the best option would be for me. I'm very worried about ending up with a hollow look above my eyes. Thank you for any advice you can provide. Thank you for your question. You're 26 years old and you want to know what's the best option for your heavy upper eyelids and you've expressed that you're concerned about not looking hollow. Well, that is very important that you do express that concern. When you are considering doing something about the upper eyelids, it is very important that having an upper eyelid blepharoplasty prior to undergoing that procedure, which is what you would need in order to see more of the platform or the area where you would apply eyeshadow, you really need to communicate clearly with your doctor about that, what your intended desired look is. When I do an evaluation for upper eyelid blepharoplasty, I do something very simple with my patients. I have them hold up a mirror and I'll actually take a little Q-tip and roll the skin on, uh, over the eyes to show how much eyelid they would be able to see and there is a range. We can be less aggressive or more aggressive. Less aggressive would typically mean removal of just skin and maybe a little bit of the orbicularis muscle and more aggressive would be to go into the orbital fat compartment behind what's called the orbital septum and reduce fat in order for the eyelid to fold in. Now, a lot of times you may need to still do that in order for the eyelid to fold in because you just have um, a little bit of fat pushing downward or when, when we do this type of surgery, we kind of see what the anatomy is. But essentially, it seems like what you're asking for is a very conservative upper eyelid blepharoplasty. What you want to be sure is that having something that's conservative is satisfactory to you. So, really spending time with your doctor, I mean, and this is more about your doctor's style, in spending time in really focusing on exactly what your desired look is and discussing with you how, that's going, how the procedure will be done and whether, and whether or not it's attainable for what you want. If you have a procedure and you go through the time and expense and it's a little too subtle for your taste, then you're not, you're not going to be happy. So the, the bottom line is, is clear communication and meeting with doctors who are extensively experienced in cosmetic upper eyelid surgery. I always feel like when a younger person comes to me that they're already starting in a very good place. They already look good. And so my job is to take someone who already looks good and make them look a little bit better. And the precision ha is so critical. Just making sure the lines are in the right place in the upper eyelid and how much skin you remove and how it's sculpted and getting that symmetry really is about artistry and technical expertise. So meet with doctors learn what their style is, see who you're confident with, and if you can come to a meeting of the minds, then move forward so you can get the desired look you want. So, I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for your question.